Fried chicken, okay, spam. Yeah, spam. Nice. Got some cereal, milk, and utensils. Yeah, it's a pretty big dining hall. Okay, so they got the seaweed with rice for this the rice ball. Hey guys, so we're gonna have a hot pot dinner with my aunt and my cousin that I've never met till like, no, 30 seconds ago. So we're in Shulin, Shulin in New Taipei City and oh my god, the car right here was a half an hour with traffic and oh, uh, I have a headache right now, but we're gonna get hot pot, so I'm not sure it's all you can eat, but I'll show some footage. Uh, let's see, oh, not now, but we'll soon. That's a very typical Taiwan street. Yeah, at least a bit more lively than where we are in Taoyuan. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have hot pot right here. I've never been, I don't know what to expect, but I'm sure it's good. It's a Every order comes with veggies as you see here, and then we have the broth as well. My dad got the beef combo, and I went kind of nuts on these noodles too. And here's me going nuts on the noodles, eating the beef. So I actually ordered both the seafood and beef combo, but for some unknown reason, I didn't record the seafood portion. So apologies everyone. And for dessert, they had all-you-can-eat ice cream. So let's check it out. So there are four different flavors. They got Swiss chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and red bean. Okay, so finish with hot pot now and very full. I, I thought it was really good and also went nuts on the all you can eat ice cream and also had Coke as well because they didn't have Diet Coke or Coke Zero and it's basically that the same spicy Coke that Lisa would talk about back when we were in Japan because she says that the Coke is different in Japan and I believe it, I've tasted it. So the following night we had teppanyaki I also made reservations a couple hours prior. So unlike the Norwegian Prima, the chef here isn't doing any tricks. He's not telling jokes or singing. He just cooks the food in front of you and that's it. So for your main entree, this actually came with unlimited soup and rice and they also differentiate between the bowls that you can use for both rice and also soup so here you see my dad getting corn soup i had like three bowls of this very delicious so i wanted to include that clip because basically goes back to what i was saying about how the teppanyaki chef here isn't singing any songs. So my mom was basically referencing the same thing about how the teppanyaki chefs on the cruises was saying, but then he's not doing it here. So it's like an inside joke between us. I got the black pepper beef with vegetables. I liked it, but also thought that it was nothing special. I also got seaweed soup as well. So the 
beef plus veggies went really well with rice. They also had self-serve drinks as well, such as a coffee machine and then also a juice machine as well. And just like with Hot Pot yesterday, this place also has all-you-can-eat ice cream. And they also have different flavors. So yeah, go nuts. <laughs> hey guys, so we just had some teppanyaki. I thought it was okay, like it wasn't anything special, but relatively cheap. Like, it's like a little more than $30 like for three people, so that's pretty good. I would say the only thing that I didn't like about this place was like, there was a chef that was like just chatting with our chef and like he just kept coughing and sneezing. Well, you know, he, he was not in our general direction, but then, you know, we're eating here, like why is he chilling here? Why is he hanging here? So to clarify real quick, the chef was coughing and sneezing while our chef was still cooking our food. That's why we weren't very pleased about this at all. So it was something that my mom was complaining about too. So yeah, so that's like a high a hygiene issue in my opinion. Alright, we're still in Taoyuan right now, but then we're gonna get some beef noodle soup for lunch. Yeah. I would say this is a pretty typical noodle shop in which you just go into the shop and try to either find an empty table or share a table with someone. Like this was what we did actually because you can see how busy they were. We got pretty lucky getting a table too. To order, you check out the menu first and then you go to the front of the shop to order. So here's the beef noodle soup. I thought the portions were pretty good. All right, we just finished. They're very busy, it's very good. It's just very traditionally Taiwanese. Like you have the veggies that goes with the noodles. The menu's not in English, so you have to know Chinese or know how to read Chinese. Oh, well, very good. My parents have been here like a couple times, like you know, the last 10 years. All right, so let's keep, I guess, let's just keep moving. Yes, keep moving to new adventures. Bye.